Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix Gmail app not syncing to other devices. So if your Gmail app is just not syncing to any other device, so let's say that I have basically my Gmail on my phone and on my computer, however it's just not syncing, uh, basically even though there are the same accounts, it's just not syncing, then in this video I will tell you guys exactly how you can actually fix this because it's quite easy. So if you're having this issue where, I, where basically on one of the devices your emails are just not syncing to the other one, then the first thing what you simply can try and do is simply restarting the Gmail app. So you can either do this on your phone by just simply just restarting it and then opening it again. And you can also just simply do this over on your desktop version where you can just reopen it. Sometimes this will give it a quick refresh to see if it's then working. Now I've probably already think that you have already done that so what you can also simply try and do is and this is going to be really important because this is basically the easiest way in order to fix this it's just simply logging out and um, basically of your gmail account on both of your devices and then just simply logging in again what basically what that does it will just completely hard refresh your entire gmail and basically it should start automatically syncing again so what you want to do is simply log out it's really easy just click on manage your Google account and then basically you will simply be able to log out. You can also click on manage accounts on this device and literally just remove an account, log back in and then it should start syncing again. Now, if that still uh, did not fix the issue, basically, then you can also try to simply restart your entire device. And you want to also make sure to see if Wi-Fi may be disabled on one of those devices, because if they don't have Wi-Fi, this means that your emails will just not start coming in. And basically that's only what I can recommend doing. There's not much else what you can try. And if, if basically the issue keeps on coming, then you might just need to contact Google support because then there's definitely something wrong within uh, your one of your apps. Maybe there's a corrupt file or something, but yeah, then you have to contact uh, Google support basically. But yeah, that are the three tips I can give to you. So please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.